Hello, artists. This week in art, we are going to start our winter painting project. I'm so excited that we get to paint from home this week. So what you'll need for this project is your white painting paper. That's the heavier paper that's in your art kit. Paintbrush, pencil, paper towel, and then your blue and white paint that got picked up at the last supply pickup from school. So we are going to create a winter landscape. This is going to be the background for our shape fox that we'll make next week. So this week we'll make the background, which is everything that's behind our fox. That's the background for our fox. So to start, you're gonna take your pencil and we're gonna draw two hills. These are gonna become our snowy hills because we're making a winter fox. Two hills, so we're gonna do a kind of a curved line right across the paper and then a second one. A second snowy hill. This can go even into this one. You know, I think I'm even going to do a third hill coming up this way. Three snowy hills I'll have. So our first hill, we're going to paint all white. Even though our paper's white, we still want to paint that snowy hill white. All right. And then our next hill, because our next hill is further away, this first hill is the closest to us, and then our next hill is further away from us. I want it to look further away, and to do that, I'm going to give it a little bit of shadow. And what we'll do to create that is mix a little bit of white paint with just a tiny bit of blue paint. That's creating a tint. And that tint is going to make our hill look like it's further away than the first hill. It's tinted just barely. I might even want to add a little more blue to that. I'm going to grab my cardboard to mix my paint on. You can use even just a sheet of paper to do this. So I'm going to grab like the tiniest bit of blue. It just takes a little bit to give that paint a nice tint. There, now it looks like it's further away and it has a shadow on it. And then since I added a third hill and that one's even further away, I'm gonna make that one a little bit more blue than my second hill. I like that color blue. All right. So now I have three snowy hills. And I'm going to move on to my sky. So I think I want my sky to be pretty dark. I want it to be a winter night. So I'm probably just going to use mostly dark blue. But if you want it to be daytime, or later in the or afternoon or early evening, you might want to lighten your sky a little bit. And you can do the same thing that we just did for the snowy hills. You could lighten your sky with a tiny bit of white. All right, we're just about there. I'm going off my paper, getting kind of messy. This paint is washable, but you might want to put some paper down underneath your art so the paint doesn't get all over your table. All right, so I have three snowy hills. This one is closest to us and they get further away with their shadows and my blue sky. And now I'm gonna add some snow by using the back of my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna dip the back of my paintbrush into the white paint. And I'm gonna add some snow like this. Really big 
big snowflakes falling in our winter scene. Here we go. I think maybe a little bit more. All right, perfect. I'm happy with my snow and my sky and my hills. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna put this somewhere safe to dry and then next week, we get to add the star of our art, which will be our shape fox. So keep your paintings somewhere safe, let them dry, and bring them back next week, and we'll add those wonderful winter foxes.